In this video, you are going to find out how to correct your dog's bad behavior without him fearing you or becoming aggressive. With these four professional dog training tips. Are you having problems with your stubborn dog? And don't know how to punish him properly? You are in the right place. And stay until the end, cause I'm going to tell a secret to train your dog into a well-behaved, calm, and obedient angel. Welcome to find weekly curiosities, how to take care, and everything about your pet's life, subscribe to my channel. Let's go to the content. Tip number 1, Understand Your Dog A big mistake when adopting a dog is thinking that everyone is the same. But not quite. The needs of a border collie are different from the needs of a bulldog. After all, they are dogs with different purposes and energy levels. Before you start scolding your dog, try to understand him. For example, if you have a border collie, but you don't exercise him daily, you are begging him to behave badly. So, try before you scold, start going out and expending your dog's energies. Understanding a pet is fundamental to understanding the reason for that behavior. So if you've adopted your dog but haven't researched anything about its origins, energy levels, and behaviors, you're bound to have a misbehaving puppy. Now that you understand your dog a little better and have taken steps to make him behave better, let's fix it the right way. Tip number two, correct it correctly. Many dog owners correct their puppies ineffectively. When correcting a dog you must not yell, hit, or do any other type of negative reinforcement. This will only make him more aggressive, disobedient, and the worst, he will be afraid of you, and you won't be able to correct him. Because your communication with the dog is completely wrong. He won't understand you that way, and he won't answer you. So, forget about any negative way of punishing your dog, it will only bring bad results. One of the best ways to correct your pet is to ignore it. For example, if he jumps on you, instead of fighting him and giving him the attention he wants so badly. Ignore him, when he stops jumping wait a few seconds and reward him with your attention, it can be a stroller, a treat or any other show of affection. Repeat this several times, until he understands that jumping isn't good enough to get your attention. Before we go to the second tip, are you liking this video so far? So give me the thumbs up for the YouTube know that this content is valuable to you. Tip number 3, show that you are the leader. Although dogs are domesticated, they also have primal instincts. There are several behaviors associated with survival, one of which is group living. They have social organization and need a leader to follow. Mentors must set house rules and demonstrate territorial leadership. This reflects the dog's discipline. Dogs see family members as part of a group. During training, show the dog that you are the leader. A simple way to do this is to eat first. Before putting your dog's food in, eat yourself first. In packs, the alpha eats first, then the others. Another way is to impose limits, determine in which rooms of the house it is allowed and where it is not. And be firm, it's no use relaxing and finding it cute when he enters where he's not allowed. Tip number 4. Find out the secret. If I told you that there is a secret revealed by one of the best dog trainers in the United States, capable of making a dog obedient and well-behaved, would you believe it? If your dog doesn't listen to you, barks uncontrollably, is chewing things he shouldn't or having any other bad behavior, so you should check the brain training for dogs program. Once you learn the simple techniques for unlocking your dog's natural intelligence, you will be amazed at how quickly problem behaviors disappear and your dog starts to obey you. Take a look in the trainings page in the first link on the description. Just click on it, you won't regret.